Yeah, shearers. Just a question I had the other day from someone they were asking about popping the sheep's head up on the last side. Now, when you're learning, when you're starting out shearing, if you continue to pop its head up on the last side, so you've got its head down through your legs yet, we're talking about when we pop its head out to finish off the last sort of leg. If you do that from the start, what's going to happen is you're not going to learn the correct position to hold it there. You're going to not feel the balance and you're not, ju just not going to get used to what it's like holding the sheep in that position. So it's important that sometimes you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to run through and if it kicks and it's, it sort of slides out from underneath you, that's all part of finding that balance of finding, finding where your position and the sheep's position should be. So even though it's going to be quicker, when you're learning to pop its head up and finish off those blows, in the long run, as you advance, you're going to find that a disadvantage. There are times when, yes, you should pop it up, like if the sheep's really kicking to an extreme level, you just know through experience you'll get to know, I'm going to pop this sheep's head up. Really, you're looking at not doing it until we get past the flank. So you've done your blow underneath the leg and you've done a blow straight down, possibly two, and pop its head up. If you do it earlier, as you just get under that leg, you'll find that it wrinkles up and it's hard like not to cut the sheep because you can't stretch it out. So rams, big sheep, fair enough. If you're struggling there and the and the giving you a hard time, pop the head out. But until you're at a level where you're sitting comfortable, I wouldn't go popping it out just because it becomes a habit. So you need to go through the hard yards, if you like, to find that position and find that balance. And the only way to do that is to make mistakes. So you learn from these mistakes. It's just little mistakes, but it can cost you a lot of time and in the future will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. I'll put on a video of me popping the sheep's head up and I'll put in the reason why. Um, if you like these videos guys, subscribe, press the like button on YouTube. Thanks very much. Here we have a video guys of me popping the sheep's head up. I think it was the only one that popped up that day. Doesn't mean there wasn't one or two I maybe should have. She's filling her head about. She's not happy. She's straining. Wriggled here. She, was, she would have slid out but I pushed my knees forward. She still wasn't going to settle, so I just let her head come up. And you can see she's a lot more settled there. I've got control, but we don't want to make this into too much of a habit, especially for beginners, as you won't learn the balance.